and not move. It's not moving. And just, like, all. act like things are frozen. And then, like, you have to talk like a ventriloquist so people actually don't know what's going on to where you can just stare in the middle distance and not know what's going on. But things are actually going on. Um, so what's the name of this gun? Double or not? Okay. Well, internet. I'm sure we're broadcasting by now. Hopefully you guys uh, hear this and whatnot. And we're going to do an, another review. Joe bought this when we were up in uh, Chester, New York, when we were going to Russian Duck. Yeah, I think this was the from the first the first trip. visit. Yeah, and this is um, tell what do you know about this? Uh, all I know about this is it's a collaboration between Lawson's Finest Liquids and Otter Creek Brewing, um, and it's a maple or it's a barley wine with maple syrup. You had me at fucking maple, man. I'm yeah, a maple really. whore. Uh, you know, putting maple in beer to me is the kin of just, you know, I don't know. Does it say an ABV anywhere on the bottle? Uh, I'm, I don't, 10.5%. So it's a sessioner. It's a session, crusher. Session beer. Yeah, um, so let's dive right in, actually. Just get cut to the chase. Uh, what we have here is Double or Nothing. Um, barley Wind A Ale with maple syrup. Um, Sean Lawson, Mike Gerhardt, collaboration, Lawson's. And uh, Otter Creek, Double or Nothing, Vermont Collaboration, Barley Wine Ale, 10.5% alcohol by volume, and that be that. Um, we actually talked about this just before we went on air. Very off-color brewing label-wise. Like, yeah. We don't know if they use the same artist or what, to the, but... To the point of where I thought Dino S'mores was a similar collaboration. Yeah, and we looked it up, but it's not. It's just this is what it is. So I don't know if it's just, you know, sometimes um, you hear a lot, a lot of times about, like, bands will sue other bands because they, like, copyright infringe their music, but sometimes they'll, they'll actually look into it. Like, whoever, you know, at, at, what do they call those people? Trademark, tra- trademark lawyers? Mm, not trademark <laughs> lawyers. lawyers. Um, they're called, uh, like, uh, like arbitrators or ombudsmen's on, on, oh, okay. bud, on or whatever they'll look into it and be like yeah they organically they'll figure it out and be like organically came up with the same sound yeah. that that person did anyway mm-hmm. so you don't know if that happened but all we know is we're going to crack into it and we're going to drink it I mean like you said when, when I got here there's uh, Jay and Silent Bob on the uh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he brought it, and I looked at it. I was like, "Does this label look like anything? What does it make you think of?" And he's like, "I don't know." I'm like, "Jane Silent Bob." He's like, "Fuck yes." He's yeah. like, "Exactly what it looks like." <laughs> so there you go. So Kevin Smith. Now you can see these guys. Anyway, he probably would. <laughs> He'd probably be super yeah, cool, but I don't he's know. kind of protective about his own shit, as you should be if you yeah. make something uh, physically or intellectually, and and you know, it's not beneath to uh, protect your shit. Yeah. Anyway, let's do this. I mean, look at that. Super creaminess. Yeah. Beautiful it color like to it. Wine. Yeah, it looks like a barley wine. It's got a it's got a nice subtle particulate haze if you actually hold it, it up to late. A lot of bubbles like clinging to the side of my glass. Yeah, that's I think that's more how I clean the glass Most more likely. than the beer itself. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it looks cash money, probably a hair below what I want my color to look like, color wise, not haze. It's got this nice particular haze to it, but I mean, that looks looks the piece. So let's get a nose on her. No, well, that doesn't suck. No, you know what doesn't suck, Bisto? Smell of that beer, buddy. And I'm kind of really. I, I know I have to drink it. But, uh, it's like a kind of a kind of thing where you could just sit and just yeah. kind of smell it. Yeah, and that's why I'm sitting here kind of waiting. Okay, let me go back to it now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> reflecting on it, it smells. It almost smells like it's been kind of barrel aged in a sense. That might just be the maple syrup coming through and giving it like an oaky aroma, but. What I am oh, getting right aroma, now. Not oaky. This is what this is making me think of, and this is why I think this is the. These are the places I go with beer. Like I, I like I, I talk when I do reviews. I, I I go out of my way to like try to be try to use terminology, I guess, or flavor notes or whatever the fuck it is that are normal, semi-normal. But this smells exactly like this to me. If you got a fucking 
an actual legit like ice cream house malted fucking milkshake and you put maple syrup and fucking frangelica in it. That's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like a malted milkshake with maple syrup and then some kind of chocolate liqueur. Yeah. Kind of put into it. It's fucking intoxicating. It's one of the better noses I've ever gotten out of a beer in my fucking life. Oh my god. I can smell it. I get, I'm, I'm like, every time I smell it, I feel like I'm in a fucking malt house. Like, I'm in like, not a beer malt house, like a fucking a, a soda like a, jerk yeah, shop. Yeah, yeah. Like an like, old soda jerk that would fucking make you a fucking legit shake, old school style. Yeah. I'm in fucking, what's that place they went in Pulp Fiction? That were like they made the shake and the fucking the old timey place where they danced and shit like that and then they got okay, the, yeah, the know, five dollar milkshake. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? Ta- I know the place you're talking about. And that's this is like um, I am now fucking you know what, whatever the fuck his name tasting the five dollar milkshake going that's really good fucking milkshake, but only with my nose. So I need to drink it. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, it doesn't suck. No. It's not as impactful for me. Well, actually, actually, you know what? I shouldn't say that. It's not as as big as I wanted it to be. Yeah. The nose is still. It's what it what this is and what the nose is is really rounded. Mm-hmm. It's super fucking rounded and smooth. I should have assumed that much with the milkshake kind of vibe from it. But yeah, it's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. Yeah. This is, I think. I'm gonna say probably my first beer f- from Lawson's, or that had, Lawson's had a, a hand in that I've had. Not my bur- my first beer from uh, from Otter Creek by any means, but this is really really good. And if you know Otter Creek is kind of one of those beers or one of those breweries uh, that's like, okay, I'm gonna. I'm going to start out into craft beer, and if I could get Otter Creek, I'm going to get a bunch of Otter Creek. Um, if they could start putting out more stuff like this, you know, and I actually really did like their oatmeal stout, but, like, more along these lines, that would be fucking fantastic. Well, no, I mean, Otter Creek in general, sorry, for, I had to take a picture just because it was that good. Um, Otter Creek has getting, been getting better. Yeah. They, um, they just released a double IPA called Space Juice. Um... And it's fucking delicious. Here's the weird part, though, is that and this good and this will ring true with a lot of fucking beer when it comes to beer reviews. Is I drank the shit out of Space Juice over the past three weeks. Um, on on Tuesday nights, there's a local brew, uh, beer bar by me. I started working at. I just do beer tastings there and just basically I do sit there and I drink beer and hand out beer to people and I get paid and it's a good time. Yeah. Anyway, um, I've been drinking Space Juice like crazy there because it was really good and then I got bought a can of it at the six pack place that I bought a bunch of beers from locally and then when I reviewed it, it wasn't as impactful. Now, I don't know how those cans were handled. They were not they, I mean, they're in cans but they I, they weren't refrigerated, yada 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 so when I reviewed it, I was kind of disappointed by it and, I, and that's what I said in the video. I was like you know, I thought it was going to be better but the ones that I had from Backyard Ale House, which is the place that I was pulling them from, um, after that job I'm working at, um, they were really fun. Good. So Otter Creek is definitely stepping getting up. stepping up. Like Otter Creek is not to be whatever, but for me and for you, it's a lot of they're mixed to six brewery. You yeah. know what I mean? They're flying dog. They're fucking you yeah. know like flying said, fish. A lot of flying breweries. You- you yeah. drink if you have access to it. It's it, it's something you drink as you're getting into, into craft beer. Yeah, but this is this is bonker stuff. Yeah, this is delicious. Yeah. Anyway, um, like I said, I mean, just kind of break it down to what it what it's all about. I'm getting a, a malted chocolate base there. With a ton of maple syrup, I'm getting like this chocolate frangelica kind of uh, cordial vibe from it. Um, really nice mouthfeel. It's not dense. It's not super thick. You're not going to confuse it with the biggest beer in the world, but it's the perfect kind of mouthfeel for it. It makes it drinkable at the same time hefty. Um, the ABV is well hidden. You know you're drinking something with a bit of heat, but at the same time you there's no burn or anything like that. You know you're like drinking a, a, a barley wine. Yeah, yeah but, but you're not getting any... There's no, there's no alcohol. Either. Yeah. Um, 
for me, I the maple syrup, well, it does have maple flavor. It's also adding a, a really nice woody character to it uh, that I'm, I'm really, really enjoying. No, I can totally get that too. Like almost like it's in like a, and that's I think where you, why you went to like a uh, barrel aged thing, mm-hmm. you get almost getting like a like a tannin kind of vibe from yeah. it. This is a really good fucking beer. Let's just put it like that. Um, let's uh, let's talk about it. Is it one of the better barley wines I've had as of late? Yes, hands yeah, down. Regardless totally. of who made it, where it comes from, it's absolutely fucking delicious. Take uh, granted, I'm a whore for maple syrup, so. They're in my wheelhouse, but it's just that good. Uh, value and availability, totally have no idea what you paid for it, and I'm pretty sure you don't remember either. Um, I want to say maybe in the neighborhood of... Altogether, my, I checked out, it was under $30. I think it was like 27 bucks for everything that I bought at this place. So I'm, I'm going to say maybe in the neighborhood of like... Five six bucks. That's not doesn't suck. I want this to be twenty dollars a four pack, if not cheaper. So if it's five bucks a piece, you have a blessing. blessing. Um, let's, let's see. see uh, Bill Billy. This, this was, was I never more expensive. expensive. Uh, or not. No, no, this, this was, was cheaper. cheaper. Yeah. 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 Uh, va- 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 availability, no idea. And just say this: if you like what we like, if you like good beer, if you like barley wines, if you like maple syrup, if you like roundness, if you like well-made beer, and if you like Frangelica, if you like fucking, you like everything. If you like, you know, if you're a malt head and you're looking for round goodness, this is uh, this does not suck. All right. So there you go. So there you go, another review of the books. Tasty, tasty one. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or you didn't, or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below and like, subscribe and all that fun, fun stuff. Uh, if you want to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, untapped, massive beers. And for those places for me, for Joe, you can find me on any gator reviews at squarespace.com. Also, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at gator And if you want to check both of those out on Sundays, uh, we do an hour radio show now on the actual FMs uh, locally at 103.1. Um, but if you want to check it out online, you can at WILKnewsradio.com or you can check it out on iTunes and Stitcher syndicated after the show, usually a couple days after. Beer Geeks Radio Hour. Uh, typically, the show is 90% of the time brewery interviews. We actually have a brewer call in. They send us beer. We drink their beer. We interview them. And we have a good time. So if you guys ever want to check that out, Sundays at noon or um, uh, usually around like Wednesday, Thursdays on iTunes and So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our review. Hopefully you're enjoying a fucking amazing barley wine right now. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. That was fucking delicious.